Welcome back everybody to the daily show where we discuss and do technical analysis on big mega cap stocks. So before we get started, please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now if you want to support the channel and get my daily trade ideas, my swing trade ideas, live trading and all kinds of setups definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon and now let's get right into it guys on apple stock is down 0.67 percent and apple now trading below 170 and that opens the door for a move all the way down to 166 unless apple tomorrow can break and hold 170 then watch out for some more upside and possibly a breakout can happen above 173 once we get that breakout over 173 and Apple can hold right here, then watch out for more upside, possibly up to 177 and then 180. As of right now, nothing bullish on Apple stock and below 170, this thing can dump all the way down to 166. On Microsoft is down 0.29% and now we have strong support down here at 420 and below that, watch out for the support at 415 and then 413 on Microsoft. Also, there will be resistance at 425.57, 5 day moving average and you can see today also getting a rejection from 425. So that needs to break 425.57 on Microsoft and that can open up a big rally to the upside all the way up to 430 plus on Microsoft once we get that breakout over 425.57. Until then, watch the support down here 420. 415.75 rising 20 day moving average and then all the way down here 413 409 37 50 day moving average and then this gap 405.68 on amd it's down 0.43 percent and amd cannot break above 184 again at rejection getting close to 183 coming back and now setting at 177.87 we do have strong support down here at 168.26 lower Bollinger Band and then this gap 164.90 to the upside now AMD needs to break and hold 180 50 day moving average so basically AMD trading below all these moving averages right here guys and that is not bullish until we get the breakout over 184 so watch out now there will be resistance at 180 184 and AMD actually breaks and holds 184 then we can talk about filling this gap at 188 right here on top on tesla stock it's up 2.92 percent so tesla was up over five percent we actually shorted tesla early in the morning and got out with 35 percent profit at least that's what i got and then tesla went back up to 180 for 25 but look at this guys into closing look at this white line 20 day moving average sitting at 178.58 it's closing below that level so tomorrow guys tesla we got a gap here on bottom as a matter of fact two of them right here and we got a gap on top so which one nobody knows and we're going to find out going into tomorrow's session so to the downside this gap will act as a support 175 so watch out if this thing gets down to 175 that's gonna be a support and below that tesla will come down and close this gap 165 to the upside tesla can hold 180 then watch out for a move all the way up to 186.72 to close this entire gap and then watch out for the resistance at 189 and above that level 50 day moving average tesla will look a lot more bullish for more upside all the way up to 200. on amazon stock is down 0.78 percent so amazon another attempt to break above 180 and it was impossible again amazon now trading at 178.30 just holding barely into closing right here at five day moving average so here on Amazon guys, I mean unless we get that breakout over 180, Amazon can drop down to 176, that's gonna be a strong support 20 day moving average and then 173 all the way down to this gap 170 to the upside. 180 can break and Amazon can hold 180 then watch out for 182 and then possibly been 185. On Google stock it's up 0.36% so Google ran all the way up to 153.20. And like I said, Google 
making its way up all the way up to 155 once again holding above 150 right here rising five day moving average and as long as google can hold above 150 guys extremely bullish and this thing can go all the way up to 155 below 150 watch out for the support down here 148 and then this gap just below 145 to be exact 144.34 on google on NVIDIA stock is down 2.57% so NVIDIA closing right here pretty much right at this support 927 to 926 holding right here rising 5 day moving average and also this is where NVIDIA got rejection before so that is holding into closing around 926. So that's going to be your line in the sand tomorrow with a gap down you're going to see NVIDIA all the way down to 900 possibly 898. 880 to 51 20 day moving average and below that a quick dump off all the way down to 840 possible on nvidia now to the upside nvidia can hold right here then watch out for a move back up to 960 975 and then 1000 so netflix going up 0.28 percent so netflix actually gapping down this morning and we bought some calls as a matter of fact i only bought one today really light trading because it's a short week and there is not much going on here in this market. So staying light, only one contract right here on Netflix, 630 call. And this thing actually went up almost 100%, but I sold way too early. And I was not even ready to trade today because low volume here on everything and nothing really moving. And it's just a chop session, guys. I mean, market is going back and forth in between like one or two dollars and not really going anywhere before that big holiday weekend we got good friday and then you know the weekend so it's a three-day weekend and market is now really slow and boring so i'm not going big and i made good money on monday so that is why i'm just taking my time off right now and trading really sl slow and small right now netflix came down to i think 620 i got in and got out at uh 626 but this thing ran up to uh, 634 and now trading around 630 so 630 breaks we could see more upside 635 650 680 on netflix to the upside and below this support rising five day moving average now 627 you're going to see a dump off down to 617 13 day moving average and then we also have support at 613 and then 604 600 588 on meta it's down 1.42 percent and now meta trading below rising 20 day moving average 497.45 and now we do have strong support at 490 below that you're going to see a dump off down to 480 lower bollinger band on this daily chart and then this gap below 470 now meta can hold right here and it can hold this trend line then watch out for a move back up to right here now that's going to be a resistant to watch 497.45 500 and then right here five day moving average 504 and once we get above 504 then we can talk about meta possibly going back up all the way up to 520 until then guys you need to watch this critical support this trend line and also these moving averages right here and looks like meta is about to break down right here unless you get a bounce early as tomorrow and that's all i have for you guys in this video thank you so much for watching